What you can see here is a BBC Model B emulator. An emulator is a piece of software that pretends to be um, another device, in this case a, a BBC Model B microcomputer which is a popular home computer in the 1980s and was found in many schools. Um, notice that uh, there's no Windows, there's no um, PowerPoint or Excel, this is what you saw uh, when you turned it on. Uh, what it did allow you to do though was to type in commands. So um, if I wanted to draw uh, lines for example I could change uh, graphics mode. It starts up in mode 7 which doesn't allow you to draw lines. Um, so I can do things like I can move and I can give it X and Y coordinates so I can say move 100 uh, 100 and that'll move. You don't see anything happen but that'll move the um, cursor away from the corner. So 0 0 is in the bottom left corner so if I now use the draw command um, so I can say 200, 100, it'll draw a horizontal line and I can keep going, so 200, 200, and then if I go draw 100, 100, I'll be back to the start and I've drawn a square. So this is how uh, teenage boys filled their evenings in the 80s. Uh, one of the things that used to intrigue us is how you actually drew a circle. So I think um, they must have uh, taught trigonometry a bit earlier in those days because the, the first way that seemed obvious to us to do it was to use trigonometry, sines and cosines. So what I've done here is I've uh, saved a program that I wrote earlier and this is a program that I wrote that draws me a circle. So before I run this um, just think about uh, games that you might play on your PC or your iPad or your phone or your PlayStation or whatever and how quickly they run. Um, what this uh, method uh, does is it uh, look at line 50, lines 50 to 90 in the program there. It uh, goes round 360 times, so once for each degree in the circle, and it calculates the x and the y position, and uh, and then draws those on. So it uses the sine and cosine. Uh, there is a page that explains how this works if you want to know in more detail, but that's not the point of this exercise. Um, so if I run this program, um, I'll explain what the step size is in a minute. Um, so here it is drawing the circle. Look how quickly um, this is going, or, or not very quickly, compared with a modern computer. And the reason I'm using the BBC emulator rather than something more modern is precisely because it's so slow, and it it shows quite clearly uh, the difference uh, that little tweaks to my program can make to how quickly the program runs. So in, back in the 80s when you were writing a program you had to be very careful about how you wrote it uh, to make it uh, run as quickly as possible. So obviously drawing a circle like that would be absolutely no use uh, if you were writing a game. So it took 21.6 uh, seconds to draw that circle. What can I do to uh, make it a bit quicker? Well the step size is the number of steps it takes to go round the circle. So in step size 1 it means um, it'll take 360 steps to go round. If I run this program again and put a step size of 2, what that means is it'll go up in 2's, so basically there'll be 180 steps in the circle, and as you'd expect it'll draw approximately uh, twice as quickly. So one of the things you can do uh, to make your program run more quickly is to actually do fewer calculations. So if I do the calculations um, fewer fewer times then it's not going to take as long and the program will run more quickly. So I can increase the step size so if I say well if I so go up to 36 for example so that'll be going up in steps of 10 degrees it runs really quickly, it takes less than a second but it doesn't look much like a circle anymore. So what I need to do is I need to find some uh, happy medium. So nine, not too bad. Two and a half seconds, looks quite like a circle. Uh, what about if I run, uh, say, 15? Okay, getting a little bit flat in places now. So probably nine is my best bet. So if we just... Uh, check that again, see how long that takes to run. 
Okay, so two and a half seconds. So one of the things we can do is we can, we can do fewer calculations to try and speed it up. Another thing we can do is do a less complicated calculation. So uh, trigonometry, sines and cosines, is quite difficult for the computer to do. It requires quite a bit of processing power. So another uh, method we can use, and believe it or not, when I was a teenager, we used to discuss this sort of thing in the playground, um, is Pythagoras. So here's, my, here's another program. Um, that I've written which uses Pythagoras to uh, draw the circle. Uh, so if we run this, the reason I chose Pythagoras is because it only uses a square root, that's the most, compli uh, most complicated calculation, and um, that's easier for the computer to do. So we'll just try a step size of 1 and see what um, sort of time that takes to draw the circle. Notice it's drawing it in a different way Previously it started on the right and went on anti-clockwise. What the Pythagoras method does is it goes from left to right, um, but it only draws half the circle, so I had to go round again uh, to go back and draw the bottom. So that took a bit longer, about three seconds longer, than uh, using trigonometry uh, for the same step size, but if we look at the program, uh, then if you look at lines uh, 60 and 95 in particular, you can see that it's actually going from minus 400 to 400, um, which is 800 steps, and it's then going back again. So there's 1,600 steps in this program, um, compared with the 360 in the previous version. So the fact that it's only three seconds uh, slower shows you how much quicker the actual calculation itself is. Um, if we want to compare like for like, if, if as it were, um, what we can do is we can increase the step size to 40. So if we compare um, the trigonometry method with a step size of 9 and the Pythagoras method with a step size of 40, that's the same number of calculations. Um, so let's have a look at that. So run step size 40 because 1600 divided by 40 is 40 and 360 divided by 9 is 40, so 40 lots of calculations. So 0.66 seconds, considerably faster. Uh, I think it was 2 point something seconds for the trigonometry method. If we increase the step size with the Pythagoras method, this method though, um, it, you don't get the, the flat sides like you do with the previous method. It just tends to go a bit pointy on the sides. So if I run that again and go for, um, say, fifth, uh, should we go for 100? it just looks a bit strange on the side. So it's not it's not too bad at the top and the bottom, um, but a bit strange on the side. So I do prefer uh, my previous uh, method. I prefer the trig trigonometry method. So I'll load um, that again. It gives me a nicer shape uh, circle, I think. So if I run that, so step size 9 gives me a reasonably smooth uh, circle given the um, resolution of uh, this uh, older computer. Uh, so that takes 2.48 seconds. So is there anything else I can do to improve the speed of my program here? Because that's still too long really, isn't it? If I want to use this in a game, um, you don't want to sit around waiting for it to redraw your circle. Well, what I was thinking when I was writing this program is that actually circles are symmetrical, aren't they? So what I can do is I only need to do calculations for half the circle. So if I look at uh, my second version of the program, look at line 60, it only goes around 180 times, and then I've just done a little bit of a calculation to sort of reflect um, the top half. So it draws the top half, and then it reflects that uh, to draw the bottom half. So if we see uh, the original version with a step size of 9 took 2.48 seconds. If we run this, step size 9 only takes 1.48 seconds, so that's quite a big saving. Um, so I thought, well, hang on, it's actually symmetrical both ways, isn't it? So um, horizontally and vertically, so I could actually do the same thing again. So I did a, a third version of uh, the program. And if we look at this, if we look at line 60, it only goes around um, 90 times now. So with a step size of 9, it actually only does 10 
um, calculations with the sine and the cosine and then it does uh, some other working to reflect that quarter of the circle horizontally and vertically so uh, previously it took 2 point something seconds and 1.48 seconds so if I run my final version of the program step size 9 0.9 seconds so it's as smooth as it was before but it takes uh, a lot less time so when you're writing a program if you want it to happen quickly which can be important if you're writing something like a game uh, what you need to think about is how many calculations you're going to do what the calculations are and do you need all of those calculations is there a way like I've done here to get away with only doing a small proportion of them and then using some other technique uh, to fill in the gaps.